Welcome back to the Joe Mack Podcast. I have a very special guest. He goes by the name of Sean G. Some say it's the dopest channel on YouTube. He conducts, he conducts impromptu interviews. He's some somewhat of a citizen journalist. He's a self-published author. Uh, he's so much more than that. Sean G., thank you so much for joining me from New Jersey. Hey, Joe, thanks for having me on your channel, man. Thanks for asking, man. It's a pleasure to be here with you, man. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. Thank you so much. You know, I've uh, I've I've taken a, quite a few pages out of your book, um, not literally, but figuratively. Uh, the way that you conduct interviews, uh, I want to I want to get into all that. Can we before we do that? Can we just give the viewer a brief snapshot of your life and who you are? All right. Well, my name is Sean G. I'm a published author. You can check both of my books out on my website. I'm gonna be publishing at bigcartel.com. Also have a YouTube channel, as Joe's already told you. I got the Flyers channel on YouTube. It's Gumby Publishing. Uh, I'm also an options trader. I'm also a real estate guy. Um, my background is I have an accounting finance background. Um, but at the moment, I'm a single father. But at the moment, I'm pretty much a full-time YouTuber, man. I had a window cleaning business, so I kind of... Kind of, kind of do it all, man. You know. How did you? How did you recognize that opportunity? Like, you know what? YouTube's the platform I want to be on, and this is the type of content I want to create. How, where was? Where? Where did that take place for you? When I wrote my first book, I published it December two thousand seventeen. I said that the best way for me to promote this book is probably through YouTube. I didn't even have a YouTube channel at the time. I wrote the book. My man up the street shot the video, the interview of me talking about the book. I set up the YouTube channel and that's how I got into doing YouTube. You know, okay. it was purely to promote the book, but it has gone, you know, as you can see, it's, it's evolved and morphed into something much bigger than that at this point. Gotcha. Thank you for that. And uh, yeah, so the book is titled Astigmatism in My Soul. There's two volumes of that. What is that title? Kind of a two-part question. What is that? What does the title of that book mean to you? And when you wrote the book and finished it, what was your, what was your thoughts back then? I, I want everybody to be familiar with this with this work? I mean, how, how, how did that? The stigmatism in my soul, man, uh, the medical definition of an astigmatism, it's a defect in the cornea of the eye, which causes a blurred vision. And I wrote this book, both these books, volume one and volume two, you can get them on my website. Gonna be publishing that bigcartel.com. The link will be beneath this video. When I wrote this book, Joey, um, I went as deep as I could go inside of myself and I wrote this book holding nothing back. And in astigmatism is a defect in the eye which causes a blurred vision. So in astigmatism in my soul is a defect in the soul that caused the blurred vision of the way I viewed life and the way I rectified and remedied that astigmatism was to write and be uh, just like to write my story and write my truth, man. And, and that's how the title of that book came to be. Thank you, Sean. Thank you for sharing that. Have you always been that open type of person? Nah, nah. Nah, nah, I didn't fuck with none of this shit, what I'm doing with you. I, um, I shunned, I shunned social media. Um, I didn't, I resisted all types of, uh, social media. I wanted nothing to do with it. I'd much rather stay low key off the radar. And that's pretty much how I live my life, you know. That's yeah. So this is this is all new for me. When did you decide that you wanted to be off the radar? That I wanted to be off the radar. I, I, 
I mean, back on the, I mean, uh, on the radar rather. Was this after the book? Did you figure, hey, look, I'm going to write this book, and and did you feel like that wasn't enough at that point? That you realized that you really had to promote it and push it out there, and you were looking for different avenues to do that? Is that kind of the what I'm understanding? Well, really, Joey, man, you know, I'm. Um... I did the YouTube thing to promote the book, right? And um, in order for me to promote the book, you know, you, I have to get out front and I have to represent the book. So, you know, it doesn't make sense to, to write a book and try to sell it and you don't do any kind of promotion. And, and I'm... I'm in sales. I'm I'm a salesman by trade. If you check my channel out, that's what I do. My mouthpiece is strong, and um, you know I understand that you have to tell people what you do, and uh, you know as a result of that, um, you know this is pretty much the path that I've been going. And you know when you when you you find out, I find out that we have, we as a people have more in common with each other than what we think. And we try to lead, we try to lead these lives where we're clandestine and we're in the dark and we're cloaked and nobody, but we all, you know, go through the same shit and we all, you know, have more in common than what we believe, man. You know, so that's that's kind of how how that how that went. 